Alright, Ian Walsh, we're here on the train in, it uh, looks like, Sorrento Valley, California. We're going down to the trade show. Via yeah, scenic route. Exactly. Uh, I noticed you have boards and stuff. You are on like a loop of America. You just yeah. got back from the East Coast, right? Just hot lapping the US. <laughs> Running around, I actually took a train the whole way. Yeah, train trip around America. Just ran, just ran into these guys at the station randomly. See, and then we put you right to work. Yeah. So, Hurricane Bill, Rhode Island, you have some family roots there? I do, my dad's whole family is from there. He's got like eight sisters or so, and a brother, and a lot of family there. I didn't realize I had so many cousins. I went back there and like every sister has like four kids. No, other than the extraordinary fact that the waves were like five feet, six feet, um, you guys ate lobsters, you had Benji out there, Brian Bielman shooting, how was the trip? The trip was good, Benji is always a character to bring anywhere and... You brought him around your family, that's great. I did, I, I, I'm real brave, it's like bringing a stripper as a girlfriend home. Exactly. But Brian Bielman was good too, he definitely slept like two hours and three days and... Worked, you worked his ass off. We, we worked. Now we, uh, we have a feature of that coming out in the next issue of Transworld Surf. What's what's different about the waves, like Hurricane Surf, as opposed to like California or Hawaii? Um, hurricane Surf's just quick. It's There's like once that storm passes, it's flat again. And then it runs straight back to the bar. Nice, all right, well real quick, um, where's next for Ian Walsh after San Diego? Right now we're on the train to ASR for two days for promos and a couple parties, and then I go to Mexico. Mexico, the life of Ian Walsh. Mexico. We should follow you with this camera all we day. Should. That's what we should do. And then, you know, probably go to jail. Let's do it. All right.